What's going on, everybody? In today's video, we are checking out the Claypool Lennon Delirium. Like Les Claypool? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. This is the project, Les Claypool, Sean Lennon, John Lennon's kid. Okay. And this is them doing a song, a Beatles song, Tomorrow Never Knows, at Desert Days, 2019. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, like... Desert Days. Where... Okay. We used, we used to, to live, live right there. Yeah, I, I was raised there. Yeah, we used to live over there. In 2019, even. We yeah. were not at the show, though. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. I was probably pregnant. Very possible. <laughs> yep. Yeah, very possible. So that's what we're going to check out. I've shown her a bunch of Primus, a couple of other Claypool projects, Dual Day Twang, the Frog Brigade. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yeah, that was really cool. And now... We're going to check out the Claypool Lennon Delirium. Is it the Claypool Lennon Delirium or the Lennon Claypool Delirium? It's the Claypool Lennon Delirium, huh? Okay, this should be interesting. Very cool. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos. I got musician tips, bass play alongs, live performances with bands, reaction videos at 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Definitely check it all out. In the description below, Amazon affiliate links to all things Claypool Lennon related. <laughs> Merch, vinyl. I always try and lean towards vinyl, but it depends. Sometimes it's not a lot available, and I'll look for like DVDs or books. And if there's nothing like that, then CDs and all that kind of thing. And just go there. Mm -hmm. Just go there and see it. All right, let's get into this. Claypool and Delirium. Tomorrow Never Knows. The Beatles. Off a of revolver. Amazing record. Let's get into this. Bam. This is like perfect for desert days. This is like perfect.
sounds like it's a violin bass. It sounds hollow. That was like perfect for a f music festival, Desert Days or other. It was like perfect. It's totally perfect. You know, because it's just like psychedelic vibe, trance, drugs. You know? <laughs> so I mean, it's perfect. I like the graphics, obviously. Yo. And I like that you're showing me a more recent Les Claypool video. Mm. But this was my least favorite, <laughs> actually. I mean, this is very much, I mean, you know, it's the Claypool Lennon delirium. This is literally, you know, it's like John Lennon's song, basically, right? I know it, like, it's credited to Lennon McCartney, but, like, anybody that knows the Beatles is going to be like, this sounds like Lennon more than McCartney, frankly. Yeah, it just does. I, I don't listen to Lennon. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I don't listen to the Beatles, but I would listen to Les Claypool. It's like, his music is more upbeat than what that was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually. I feel, well, I mean, no, I say usually like I'm like, I know <laughs> Les Claypool, but like you've shown me like half a dozen videos by now mm. of Les Claypool and this was just. Yeah. It's like it was more really zany. melodic, like, like, uh, like, I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's like, that's why I said trance, yeah. you know, it's very much just like trance, psychedelic trance, hmm. you know, the audio went with the video. The visual, you know, like to me, yeah. it was very much just that kind of thing. I thought it was, I thought it was cool. That was cool. Would you rather listen to the Beatles version? That's the big question. Probably not. Might rather listen to the Beatles version. I mean, I don't know what it sounds like. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It was also a question for the audience. Would you rather listen to the Beatles version than this? Hmm. That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I mean, let it's me on. Know. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't know, I think I might have to say the Beatles version. I mean, it's the Beatles, you know? It's like, why, why, you know, like, why listen to Jason Bonham when you can listen to John Bonham? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, why would I listen to, you know, Kofi Baker do Cream when I can listen to Ginger Baker do Cream? You know? I understand that it's like, well, where is Ginger Baker now? Or where is John Bonham now? Or where is John Lennon now? Now, you, this is what you get. Mm. You know, but I don't know. I don't know. I realize I'm being a little controversial here. <laughs> only only a little bit. Don't get all crazy, really, honestly. You're all thinking all this. It's, it's just what it is. It's what it is. It's like the reality of the situation. <laughs> just saying. You know, I think I'd rather listen to the Beatles version. I think that this is cool. I think that for what they're doing and them doing pulling this song and doing it, I think... 
actually is great for them. I think it's perfect. Especially, like, Les Claypool is such, like, a festival player. You know, like, to me, like, when I think of Les Claypool and the kind of gigs that they do, I think festivals, you know? So, this is perfect. He knows how to, how to do it. He knows how to do it. And this was a good call. This song was a good call for this band. I dug it. I did. I want to know what the bass was. Let's look it up. Look, type in Desert Days, Les Claypool, and see if there's any stills of him playing on the stage. Yeah, but... You have to type in Desert Days. I, mm, I typed in the song because they played it more than just Desert Days, I'm sure. Um, okay. So I just want to see. I would just type in Les Claypool Desert Days and see pictures. Of it was this. What is that? Yeah, that's a violin bass. How do you know that's what it was? Because I know I know that's definitely what it was. But what kind is it? How do you Eco. Know? Eco. Eco. Violin bass. I promise you that's what it is. Because I'm a bass player. But, I know exactly what it was. I saw I saw enough of it. Like the shape and the headstock. I saw, saw enough of it. And the, like where the pickups were and all that. I saw enough of it to know. It looked bigger. Like large. Like this is an actual. This right here. I'm showing her a Hofner. That's on here. Mm -hmm. Hofner violin bass. They're tiny. They're just like this bass. I just bought a Hofner recently. But mine is the club version. Which looks more like a Les Paul. It's like this. But his was, it was like wider, like bigger, seemed, seemed bigger. This is exactly what it was. Eco 1150 solid body violin bass. Cool. Yeah, it was like this. Super cool. I thought so. It looked like a violin bass. Anyways, you don't normally see Les Claypool playing that kind of stuff, and also how he was playing. Didn't we see him play a violin bass in another video? Mm -mm. No, we saw him play a resonator, a resonator bass, kind of an acoustic Kind of. Hmm. Yeah, it's a resin air base. Um, and then also, you know, there's Carl Thompson's. Uh, which somebody said that he bought at a pawn shop for under a grand. Is that accurate? He bought, like, at a thrift kind of situation for under a grand. Carl Thompson, really? Those bases are expensive. I had a teacher who owned a couple of them. They're not cheap. Thousands of dollars. I mean, I you know, when he bought them, because I saw him, he had one in the early 90s. I saw a video of him with one in the early 90s. But he may have even had it in the 80s, like the late 80s. So prices were different. So maybe, you know, it wasn't thousands. Maybe it was a thousand or who knows. Mm -hmm. But I'm just curious because I'm like, they're expensive bases. Anyways, if anybody knows that information, let us know. I dig it. I thought it was cool. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe, check out my videos, musician tips, bass play alongs, live performances with bands, reaction videos, 9 a.m., 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, Amazon affiliate links below for all things Claypool, Lennon related, merch, vinyl, all that kind of thing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.